Oh, web heads work back to nerves. So my name is Mace Baron. Today I'll be showing off Retro Arch how to get this thing started. Honestly, I had trouble with this too, and I got some help. So I wanted to show this off to everyone. So what you guys need to do is you need to click on the app, of course, and let that uh, unzip and extract extract all the stuff that it needs. This might take a while, obviously. It's taking a while for me to do it. Alright, there we go. One other thing that has been extracted. What we need to do is, as you can see at the top main menu, at the top it says no core. Well, we need to get a core. So, we need to go to online updater and core updater. Here we can download whatever core that we want. So for example, if you wanted to play Atari 2600, you would double click on Stella Core. So what I want, I want the Sega 32X. I double click this, go back, go to Load Core, and press that. There we go. Now we can start our core or load content. Mostly you want to load the content first. So let's so select the file. And the third option is your SD card, your main, wherever your downloads are. So if you have a ROM, you would like to click there. After you're done clicking your game that you want, it might transfer you to the game, or you have to come back to the main menu and start. Now the sad thing is, every time you leave, for example, I'm going to close out of this, and reopen it, it's extracting again. Alright, so at the main menu again, it says no core. You must load your core again and load the content and select your game and your file whatnot to start all over again. That's basically it for this video.